All right. So listen, I know she says she schedules things in advance and hey, I schedule things too. You can unschedule, edit and reschedule. Okay. There is no excuse for this. She is begging for you to piss her off. Hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So I see that Amberlynn has uploaded again, and um, we'll take a look at this video together. I actually have not um, seen it yet, but I did kind of thumb through a few of the comments, and I guess still no apology. <clears throat> if you can guess, they have a little bit of a subliminal message in my background. So um, still no apology for jumping to a conclusion that Somebody was fat shaming her when they may or may not have. But anyways, um, another uh, two other quick things I want to discuss. First of all, um, in the last video, there was a haul um, with snowflake earrings. It, it didn't click on me till today of what that meant. So Mr. Snowflake. So anyways, and still to this day, and I'll show you when we get there, she continues to not put a disclaimer about her P.O. box. So let me let me just show you real quick. So this is her video from today. Um, I pulled this up just a little bit ago. So she's, you know, 3.9 thousand views. But here in her description box, I mean, she she still doesn't put any disclosures on um, not to send her food. So I mean, she gets what she deserves. So on the topic of Mr. Snowflake, I'm sure you all are aware of this. this is probably old news by now. Someone came forward to him um, and said that they thought Amber's insistence that she was a choreographer and won all kinds of talent competitions is not true. So if you check out Mr. Snowflake's community page, um, and I'm sure most of you have seen this. If you've not, just um, search Mr. Snowflake and click on his community tab and like, share, like, share, and sub um, like, share, and subscribe. But he's talking about somebody came up to him and said that they um, saw a video of Amber Lynn claiming to be, you know, Dancer Lynn, I guess, through a Fupa Tales um video so this person was saying that she she was never actually an official dance group member but they interacted with her because you know she passed out water and cheered for her so um space is just basically a a fine art school for children so i was looking through it because i was curious i mean don't please don't contact space at all this isn't there this isn't their fault, but as you can see, there's all kinds of um, fine arts that you can do there for children, which, which is very good. Kids need that. So basically, they invite the underprivileged, you know, foster kids, people like Amber Lynn Reed to, you know, come join, help out. I mean, um, I don't, I didn't see any prices for this school, but I imagine it was quite expensive. So. I mean, it would make sense, guys, that, you know, we all knew the thing about choreography was baloney. I mean, she could say it was, oh, it was somewhere else and it was talent competitions. I mean, listen, ultimately, I feel like Amberlynn Reed just made up a childhood for herself. So, I mean, okay, but at this juncture in her life, she should lay off of that, right? So, I mean, I know she didn't have the best of childhoods. That's evident. But don't make these fantastic stories because what happens is, is when you make up these fantastic stories, we tend to not believe anything else you say. So, I guess, listen, why I'm talking about this is it really sort of clicked in my head that there is no doubt that Amberlynn Reed is just a habitual liar. Okay. Pathological, habitual liar. Change my mind. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Um, running errands. Okay. Gallery wall hall. Hmm. And am I getting married? 
it's probably clickbait. This is probably a bunch of nonsense, but we'll we'll see what she says. Hello, hello. Welcome to a new vloggity vlog. So I've noticed that with this new, I feel like, you know, I've always done winged eyeliner, but with the new mascara I'm using and then like the new way I'm doing winged eyeliner, it's making my eyes look really different in my opinion, like mm. the shape of them. Um, because normally I will take the black and I'll put it up here as well, but I don't put it up here anymore. I just do it right there on the sides and it's causing my eyes to be a shape that I'm actually really really in love with so if you have hooded eyes like I do it is possible to do this because I know a lot of people send me dms and question like how do you do it I have like the same eye shape as you because I just feel like you need to practice and practice and practice and I promise practice makes perfect um it just it kind of came to me in high school and I have not turned back since Pauline wrote baby I love you so I'm gonna write Aw. Be sorry, do it later, Hater. Hi. This is one of my most favorite outfits on her. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, I never kind of understood dressing up your dog in clothes. I don't know. I guess if you have to protect them from the cold, that's one thing. But just to dress your dog up in clothes is, to me, not my thing. So if it's your thing, great. I think it's weird. Oh, it has a bunch of pills on it, though. Oh, Aww, Tinky. You are so pitiful. Yeah. Oh, my baby. If you guys are looking for a snack, get these from no. Target. Mini peanut butter filled pretzels. No. By the no. Why? Why? Those are the devil. Those are literally the devil. So our local um, grocery store Publix, where shopping is a pleasure, they often have a, I think they package them of peanut butter peanut butter pretzels and um like in a plastic container and occasionally they'll go bogo so i can't pass it up so she's gonna say get the individual bags and you'll love it um let me tell you something it is it would be nothing for her somebody with an eating disorder like she said she's a food addict just because they're single sizes does not mean she's going to be able to have control around them because you could still eat all bags, okay? You could eat more than one bag. You could eat them all. So her saying, oh, get these. Trust me, people. If you have a problem with your weight, do not, and I repeat, do not get peanut butter pretzels because at least for me, I can't stop eating them. So I don't, I try not to have them in the house. The brand Good and Gather, they are so good. Feline originally got them, but... I ended up having a pack. And I yeah, like no fucking shit. Yeah, like no shit, Sherlock. I told you she was going to eat these. Again, throw away $100 worth. Well, it's probably like $80 worth of um, handmade, freshly made baked goods and eat this garbage from Target for 180 basically empty calories. You know, when you could be sharing the bread with those you love. And let me tell you, by the way, so I'm, I'm sure some of you have seen the unboxing and tasting I did. That bread is super filling. I am telling you, if you could eat more than like a half a slice, you've got one on me because it is like very intense, very thick. It's, it's not like regular banana bread. Although it looks like banana bread, it's not banana bread. It's way thicker. I like it a lot. Okay. So many people think I'm homebound, but it's the farthest from the truth. Uh, she could say she could say whatever she wants. I don't believe it. So I'm trying to vlog what I normally don't. So here's more of that. Okay. So we are about to go to the post office. That's something that happens multiple times a week. And I've been forgetting to add my um, PO box to my videos the last few videos. So I will add it here. So if you want to send me anything like a letter, whatever it may be, I will open it on camera. Where's the disclosure? You know, I, 
mm, I don't know if I can with this one today. I just don't know if I can. All right. So listen, I know she says she schedules things in advance and hey, I schedule things too. You can unschedule, edit and reschedule. Okay. There is no excuse for this. She is begging for you to piss her off. Okay. Cause it's, it's controversy. I mean, she's got to do something. All right, went to the P.O. Box, now on to the next stop. Going into Hobby Lobby. So we are both kind of liking this. Hobby Lobby drives me nuts because there's just so many things in there and it's like, it's just clutter. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, it's not that I don't like Hobby Lobby. There's just too much in there. For the living room, were you thinking? Yeah. Yeah, me too. We can put it in the car as like a maybe. That could be a maybe. Okay. Found another maybe. So I'm gonna put it in here. All right, there's already been a And that's a sign for a 16 year old girl in her room. Sorry guys. A change of plans. We definitely prefer this mirror for this one. So we're gonna put this one back. We can get this one instead. A plain mirror. Why am I low key obsessed with this creepy guy right here? Wait, I love this. If I had a kid, this is the section I would be in. The dinosaurs. Uh. Oh, that is nice. Oh, Celine had a nice painting. You know who I should hang this on? <laughs> yeah, that's creepy, guys. It, you know, age play. Okay, great. <laughs> you know what? I accept this. Yeah, I accept this. Thank accept you. it. It's a good thing. Dad jokes are the best. So we stopped at this bubble tea place that we like. So we got the same thing. We both got this low sugar coconut tea with the uh, tapioca pearls. So it's still a lot of calories. Yum. Tapioca ball. And then when we get home, got to take Twinkie out. Oh, she's ready to go. She's not holding the leash though. Hey guys, so here's the Hobby Lobby hall and we have Twinkie space right here because she's sitting yeah, so we did get the I like her bedspread. The mirror. We got some picture hangers uh, for this because this is heavy. Yeah, they should. Well, I guess it's heavy, but um, command hooks when you live in an apartment. Just saying. They have picture framing stuff for command. So. And then we got this because we're going to do a gallery wall in the living room. So obsessed. And then I did get the Chanel Louis Vuitton Gucci Prada sign. It might go in my bathroom or in the gallery wall. We haven't decided. What? So I have a little bit of an announcement to make. You guys remember my beautiful, beautiful Titanic. I found a home for it. Yeah, thank God. My beautiful Titanic is being adopted. And that's okay. And that's okay. By the way, if you're wondering, that's makeup. That will not come off of this table. But what do you mean it's being adopted? Are you giving it to somebody? Time to say goodbye to the baby. It was wonderful putting together, though. Wait a minute. She's giving it away? Okay. How much was that again? I don't remember. Hello, hello. So I put my desk up a bit for you guys so you can see what's going on. Um, today is the next day, and I'm thinking about putting some butterfly clips in my messy bun. Yes, I used to do this when I was younger, obviously. I'm and you clearly haven't grown up yet. From the 90s. Oh my God. Like this was my, you know, now that she mentions the nineties, let me also explain why. And, and I'm sorry if this comes off funny, but, um, one of the reasons why I often rolled my eyes at her claim that she choreographed, um, dances and she's dances and stuff. I hate to say this. And she was always obese and I'm, I'm, you have to believe that I'm being honest and not being fat shaming in the nineties. It, there was no fat acceptance in the 90s, okay? With all due respect for Amber, Amber Lynn, she couldn't have been a dancer in the 90s. I mean, I, I don't want to be negative, but I think it's more realistic. That's why personally, I rolled my eyes every time she said that because the world was a different place in the 90s. We've come a long way, which is good and bad, but now I think the pendulum swung the wrong way because fat acceptance is really dangerous in some respects. But 
you know, in the nineties, letting an obese person, you know, compete or to be a part of the team, that would have been great, but I'm telling you, it would not have happened. So, um, that, and she just moved around too much, but go to, I love wearing butterfly clips in my messy buns. Wait, I'm giving nineties. I am giving nineties. And that was my goal. I'm wearing the earrings that Feline got me. Tell far earring. We didn't do wing eyeliner in the nineties. And it was all about sort of brunch. So um, while this outfit would have, that would have been a nineties outfit. The hair, I think, was more of the knots, right? The 2000s, like the butterfly clips, but I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Am I really? <laughs> I don't know why, but I am geeking. Yep, this was a beautiful choice. And you look ridiculous. And I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> I know. I'm negative, but I'm realistic. Come on. I know some of you are going to hate it. Some of you might love it, but here's a look up close. Oh my God. Well, I don't hate it or love it. I just think it looks ridiculous. Doesn't mean I hate it. It just means I'm realistic in telling you my actual opinion. Uh, do I need more? No. Do you think that looks good? No. My favorite part is when I am angled like this and you guys say, that's a horrible angle for her. It's literally all because I'm fat. Skinny people vlog like this all the time. Mm, let me tell you guys something. I've learned this from being a content creator. You always put your best face forward, okay? If you guys saw the taste test I did with this Strawberry Hill, you had to see me in a different angle, right? So you could see me rolls and all, excess skin and all. And I mean, I look a lot different in that aspect. We're here, I'm well lit. I have a good angle going that I, you know, check before I start filming. And, um, yeah, that's part of being a vlogger. It has nothing to do with being obese. It's called putting your best face forward because we are here. Listen, we all like attractiveness. You know, why do we wear makeup if we don't like attractiveness? So it has less to do about her weight and the angle because I could make myself look like crap too. It's that she doesn't put any effort in. And she, she does shit like this just to troll us. I'm and no one says anything. It's because I have double chins. I don't care. We don't care. Yes, we we know you don't care, sweetheart. We we know you don't care. Like <laughs> I've never cared. I've never cared about showing my body. Yeah, that's pretty much true. I've never cared about showing my weight. I've never cared. I don't care. Whoa, she's never cared about showing her weight. Uh, don't we get every once in a while the you know, lecture slash, you know, TED talk on how the scale on the weight, like, you know, makes her crazy or whatever, makes her, you know, mentally unwell. Okay, that's, I'm calling bullshit. Coming at me like that is silly. Yeah, I don't really want to put any brown ones because it doesn't go with All right. the aesthetic. How, how much longer is this? I, can, I can't do butterflies anymore, guys. I'm so sorry. Dark brown? Oh my gosh. Really hard to be not long winded because you guys know I can be. Hold on, let me back it. She does say something. Yep. Okay. We from the 90s. So I know my vlogs had been kind of short lately. I know, I know. No, they um, have. I just, I am trying really hard to be not long winded because you guys know I can be a long winded girly for sure where I just like talk, 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 kind of like what I'm doing now. Um, but I do want to end this vlog and start another one because I like to have my vlogs. Like, I don't like having several days in one vlog. Um, I know I've done that a lot in the past, but it's not my favorite. So I do want to end this video, start a new one, but um, I want to end it with doing, being interviewed by you. There's, there's no PO box here. We still got a bit of time. I am Berlin. My question for you is, if you can go back in time and change, and change something you did or you said or you wish you have said or did, what would it be? Good question. To a friend or for yourself or for anything, like what, what would you have changed? Hmm. 
I love watching your videos. Oh. Hope you get this one. Thank you so much. Um, what would it be? Something I've said or oh. something I did. Our queen has never said anything or done anything wrong, guys. How does she? Mm, I could think of a couple right off the top of my head. Let's see what she says. I just really wish I would have never uploaded certain videos to my YouTube channel. Um, so that would be my the Casey answer. I don't really want to like get into what. Hey, Evelyn. Uh... So yeah, no detail. Just yeah, I wouldn't have uploaded a couple things. You know, talk for five minutes on butterfly clips, but the things that matter and the things that people really care about because most of us are grown, she doesn't expound upon. Um, I was just curious if you have any TV shows that you're currently watching or watched recently that you like. Um, you know, we all like to talk about which shows we're watching, so I was curious. No, we don't. I actually had to, because my company's changed management, so they sent out a form and I had to put like the TV shows I'm currently binging and I pretty much said, listen, I don't really watch TV, but when I had COVID last year, I watched the whole season, of the whole uh, series of Ozark. So anyways, I, uh, I, I just, this doesn't. So what you and Felina are watching. Okay. Thanks. Bye. I am watching Good Trouble. Um, it is so freaking good. Uh, it's a spinoff from The Fosters, which I also watched every single second of. Never heard. So it's amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend. Oh. <laughs> oh. They're letting, oh, somebody's letting their kid talk. No, you should never introduce your kid to her. Her show is not for kids. Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. This person said, excuse my son, he wanted to join in. That is so cute. Where do I see myself in five years? Well, with the way that like this weight loss surgery is going, I see myself, myself being the healthiest I've ever been. And I hope that I travel a I bit so. and I am maybe married. I know a lot of people are like curious, like, are you going to get married? I'm not ready for marriage. No, I'm not. Okay. Okay, guys, riddle me this. Riddle me this. At this point, what is so much different between being married and not being married in the relationship they have now? So, I mean, we could argue this all day, but there are some benefits to being married. First of all, the tax benefits. You know, if Jade, wifey, Feline has an actual W-2 job, you know, if she has any losses or whatever, or she can withhold more in her paycheck. So this way the year end tax bill isn't so bad. And then also there's, you know, property issues. Like if, if, if God forbid guys, either of them was to suddenly, you know, get hit by a bus. I don't know. The other person can inherit the money that they, they deserve. So I don't understand, and I wish she'd expand upon why she's not ready, other than maybe she, you know, because marriages do require, you know, basically a lawsuit to get out of, to dissolve, right? You have to file for divorce. So maybe that's what she means. Like she's not sure if she wants to make the commitment to Feline for long-term, but other than that, I mean, what is she ready? For? What is she waiting for? It's not like they don't live together. So that's my point. It's just, to me, getting married when you're already like this and living together and, um, you know, in a committed relationship, there's only upside to marriage. I mean, again, let me know if I'm wrong. So that's not something that I currently... Because I'm old fashioned. I know that. Um... You know, I'm still trying to like, oh, and I'm very practical. Sorry, guys. Again, realism. When you're an adult, there's more to life than just love. Okay. There's the practicality of it, of like you're forming a partnership with somebody. You know, I mean, there are certain aspects where it, you know, certain hospitals, like for instance, like they don't let people unless they're, you know, married visit you in the hospital like there's just all kinds of things like if something happened amberlyn reed like if god forbid something happened to uh amberlyn reed wifey couldn't make any decisions because they're not married so it's it's sticky there's only upside to me in my opinion it's an opaline and like really just 
work on myself so I can be better for her and be better for a possible marriage. Hey, Amber. Um, I'm your advice on school. So I used to go to community college and then FAFSA ended up dropping me. So I had to end up paying for my community college. And since then, I just haven't gone back. But I feel like I need to go back to do like good in life. And yeah, I just need advice. Do you think I should go back or do you think that I should... I don't know. What do you think? Why is she asking Amber Lynn Reed this? Amber Lynn Reed's probably never even heard of FASFA. And the other thing, just as a mom who's going through it, you get dropped by FASFA if you are not accomplishing the credits. So like, this happened to the older group, okay? If you were going and you're, you know, if you have to take like a medical withdrawal, for instance, and then um, it wants you to have a certain amount of credits completed or else FASFA drops you, all right? I don't know that I'm explaining that correctly. And let me tell you, FASFA is a frigging mess in and of itself that it's it's very hard to navigate. I bet you she doesn't even, she's never even heard of FASFA. And the other thing, at least my community college is super cheap. Like, I don't know. What do you think I should do? So that's a hard one because if you're having to pay out of pocket, do you have the money? Is it Yeah, community college, let me let me explain. Yeah. It's it's maybe like one or two thousand dollars. It's not really expensive, guys. At least in Florida, it's not. And if she goes into her rage if it's twenty, thirty thousand dollars a year, I'm gonna laugh out loud. They're gonna break the bank. Are you gonna be able to pay for the bills? Are you going to be able to continue having a roof over your head and live as comfortable as you can? Because I know like paying for college out of pocket during a time where you don't have the money would probably not be the most responsible decision. Well, now let me say this, because I'm very pro college, very pro student loan, because if you're not able to scrounge up two grand to take classes, that to me would be an indication that you need a better job. Here, Mama Goob again who's extremely practical, lives in the world. I'm old. I've been through school. My kids are going through it now. But I just want to say, like, I'm obviously probably not the person with the best advice in the world. Yeah, yeah. But you can do good things without going to community college. I'm not trying to, like, take that from you, but just know. Well, all right, guys, young ones listening now, I hate to tell you this, but you're not going to get even a basic job without some kind of formal education, right? So either you go into the trades and you have to learn a trade or get somebody to take you on as an apprentice. But even that, they're looking for some kind of education there, some kind of classes. Now, like you couldn't even be like a receptionist at a law office without pretty much a degree. I mean, I'm sure you all have different examples, but a degree, it, it used to be a degree set you apart. Now a degree is the basic, like the first level, they just expect you have a degree, you know, and if you don't have that, it's really hard. It's really hard to compete. I mean, you could probably work your way up in like retail and such, but it's, it's much harder. Know that college isn't for everyone, but it sounds to me like that's something you really want. So if you have the money and you have the time, I would a hundred percent recommend you going back to college, but make sure all your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed beforehand. Okay, you guys, so the next thing I want to do is P.O. Box time. Oh, good. Yay. I'm going to read this envelope. Wow. Uh, this letter was from someone named Ren. Ren, thank you so much for opening up to me. I'm actually going to read this letter twice um, because it was just, it was powerful. And thank you so much for opening up to me. It like means a lot to me. I am going to open this envelope. Oh my goodness. Why does she even bother showing us the envelopes if she's not going to show us what's inside? She could just say, I got a letter here that I'll open off camera. I got a letter here off camera. You know, she has to fill time. So someone sent me, I'm assuming this is Magic the, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! I was gonna say Magic the Gathering. See, I don't know much about these. Left leg of the forbidden one. A forbidden left leg sealed by magic. Why would somebody, is there another meaning to this? Hold on. Okay. Random, love it, thank you. Next package. Here we have a book with no letter. And in this state, she gallops, is what this is called. I think this is a poetry book. Okay. There was once was a girl whose head was full of stories. These stories began at a time we can't remember. 
okay. So I don't really know what this is about. No letter, nothing, but I'm going to give it a read. But thank you to whoever sent this to me. You guys try to remember to, you know, put a little letter in there just so I know who to think. So I'm going to end this vlog and I'm going to start the other one so you guys are going to see me in this same outfit. Okay, Mama Goop being Mama Gooby in that video a little bit. Um, I know nobody asked for my financial advice, but listen, guys, I've lived through it. I happen to be an accountant, so I think in terms of practicality, it's just flowing through my veins. Um, the thing is, you know, this is a bunch of nonsense. I, I don't know why people would even ask her opinion on things like schooling or, or anything. I mean, she missed an opportunity of, you know, what mistakes would you go back and fix? And yeah, I mean, maybe she shouldn't have uploaded the Spring Hill Bakery incident. Maybe that's what she was referring to. Either way, I'm not stopping until we get a formal apology. So I'm going to keep on keeping on. But obviously, she's a habitual liar. Okay. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I will be, I'm putting together a little mini series that um, is going to be three parts. It's on Amberlynn Reed. It's a little bit different of a premise. So you guys will either like it or love it or hate it or have no opinion or didn't watch it. But listen, I'm putting it out there and we'll see how, you know, how you guys like it. But let me know. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks again for watching. Bye.